Hey everyone, uh, Jesse Anna Seville here from the Kidney RD uh, website, kidneyrd.com. Um, I'm a renal dietitian, a expert renal uh, nutrition person. I love working in renal nutrition. It's really, really powerful for preserving kidney function. Now, uh, if you do not know me, please visit my web website, kidneyrd.com. We do a monthly mini class where we talk about the eight opportunities for preserving kidney function. Um, how to how to approach that from a root cause uh, mindset, and also we have a free mini guide that goes along those same lines. Um, today, though, we want to talk about a really, really critical uh, part, and I got this wild hair in my face here, but um, a really, really critical part about preserving kidney function, which is vitamin and mineral deficiencies. Um, this is a common question that I get: is people worry about being malnourished? or I worry about the beef nourished, and how do we test for that, and why would we even test for it? Um, a lot of people will say, well, you know, my doctor checked my B12 level, or they checked my magnesium level, and it looks like it's okay. And I wanna talk about why maybe some of the labs that your doctors run are not going to be the most effective and what you can be looking for. So to start out, micronutrients. What are micronutrients? Micronutrients are vitamins and minerals and antioxidants. Uh, so for example, vitamin A is a micronutrient, vitamin C is a micronutrient, zinc, selenium, iron, those are all micronutrients. Macronutrients are big things we eat, for example, fat, carbohydrates, and protein. Those are macronutrients, macro meaning big. Micronutrients are the beautiful uh, little nutrients that help everything run smoothly. Um, so when you are looking at micronutrients in a test, you want a test that includes lots of vitamins, lots of antioxidants, uh, and lots of amino acids. Um, the scientific evidence says that analyzing both the white and red blood cells gives us the most accurate picture of the body's deficiencies. And I want to talk a little bit more about why that is and how it's different from the labs you get drawn by your physician. Now, um, the test that we use when we're looking at micronutrients measures what's inside the cell, it's called intracellular, and what's outside the cell or the serum levels. When you go get labs drawn at your doctor's office, usually all that they're going to draw is a serum level. And serum is, you know, all the fluid outside of your, your uh, red and white blood cells. Um, and that may not be the most accurate picture of what's actually going on. The serum levels are, for the most part, a very acute picture, meaning a um, kind of a snapshot in time of what you've been doing most recently and what's going on most recently. That's very important. It's still very valid, but it's, it's not a comprehensive picture when you're trying to look at nutrient deficiencies. When you measure what the stores are within the cells, you're able to get a much, much better picture of where there are some holes and where your body may be struggling to convert some pathways or convert some processes because there's a deficiency. Uh, so that's why we use some very specific testing. There's a couple of different uh, laboratories that we use, Vibrant Labs or SpectraCell, and testing in both those areas, uh, both of them look at intracellular levels, which is different than what your doctor gives you. So what is a micronutrient test going to cover? And like I said, it's going to be everything from vitamin A to zinc. So a few examples, it can test arginine, choline, magnesium, manganese, zinc, copper, chromium, iron, leucine, valine. I mean, there's a whole list of different nutrients that you test. Now, one thing that's really important about micronutrient testing, it's not just about saying like, oh, I'm low in something, so I'll add a supplement, or I'm low in this, so I better eat more of those foods. That is not at all what micronutrient testing is about. It's not about just finding these holes and then we fill the holes in and then we assume everything's going to be good. You have to always think about why there is a hole in the first place. Sometimes there's holes because of people's genetics and we don't convert certain um, uh, things in our food, right? Certain nutrients into our food into an active usable micronutrient form. So sometimes that's why. 
sometimes we can see that micronutrients are low or vitamins and minerals are low because people aren't absorbing them. And then we want to know why, right? Do they not have enough digestive enzymes? Is there, you know, something going on in their, in their gut where they don't have enough of the, the villi fingers that really absorb things. So those are flattened down. Um, you know, are they on a medication that is, that is utilizing a lot of the nutrients to be able to metabolize the medication? And do we need to be conscientious of putting more of that nutrient in as long as they're on that medication? There's so many things that a micronutrient test can tell you way beyond what is just missing, right? Or, or what has happened. And a lot of times it can solve some mysteries. People will be like, well, why am I so tired? Why do I have trouble concentrating? Why this? Why this? And a lot of times you can you use the tool of a micronutrient test to figure out why some of those things are happening. It's a really cool place to work as a dietitian because you're really getting into precision nutrition. You're getting into really refining um, a personalized approach and looking at exactly what that person, that individual needs, right? We are not all the same. We don't all have the same stress level. We don't all have the same sleep patterns. We obviously don't eat the same. We don't all have the same genetic profile. And all of those things, all of those things play into what your body needs, right? When you're under more stress, guess what? You need more of some nutrients. When you have lower stress, you need less of some nutrients. Um, so and that's a really important piece. So the next question is, who can benefit, right? Could you be someone that would could use a micronutrient test? Like a lot of the functional testing, right? We've talked about food sensitivity testing to decrease inflammation, GI testing to really address gut health, which uh, again then ends up impacting overall overall health. So who can benefit from micronutrient testing? Of course, everyone could benefit from that. It's nice to know what your stores are, what you might be missing, etc. We primarily recommend this testing for people where we feel like there is malabsorption or if we have a, a question and we're wondering why like why is this particular thing going on and we can't figure it out we really like to use our clinical skills to figure out you know is this a problem is that the problem what is it in this health story that we can resolve using nutrition sometimes we've tried a couple things and they haven't worked and testing allows us to actually figure out the why. Or if we know ahead of time it's going to be complex, we just test, we don't guess. It's faster and much cheaper that way. Um, so those are a couple of times that we would use micronutrient testing. We generally use a micronutrient test as part of one of our premier package services, which is doing this really deep dive approach into helping people uh, uh, resolve some root cause health issues where we're looking at the gut, we're looking at, um, uh, again, food sensitivities, we're really trying to heal where we see that there's big inflammation. That's generally where we're using this. But for some people, they've done everything. They've done a plant-based diet. They've done, uh, they've gone 100% organic. They've, and they really want to fine tune the rest of their diet and figure out if there's anything that they might be missing. Um, and not always just look it up. Food logs can tell you that because the quality of our food is not always super consistent. Um, and so micronutrient tests can, again, be very, very helpful. And that can help people kind of tune up and kick their success up a notch. Um, so uh, last question that people are going to ask is how much does it cost? Well, if you're working on a pr premier four-month package with us where you're doing gut testing and MRT and micronutrient testing, you're looking at around $5,500 for us to walk through that process. Um, for uh, If you just want to look at micronutrient testing, it depends what else you have going on. Sometimes we allow people to do the test with one interpretation and then people are looking at around $600 to $700 um, or so to do that testing with some expert advice. <sighs> Anyways, so that's it. Micronutrient testing, an incredible tool for the right person. It can be very telling, give you some great information, um, looks at vitamin, minerals, antioxidants, um, and amino acids. So really, really good. If you suspect you might have deficiencies, it can be really helpful. If you feel like you want to fine tune your diet, can be really helpful. 
um, and it's definitely a tool that we we love to use. Anyways, that's it for today. You can follow us at thekidneyrd.com. Um, our hashtag is thekidneyrd, also on YouTube, Facebook, and Instagram. And that's it for tonight. Bye-bye.